Welcome to the channel guys, my name is Paul Brunn and this is the second in the renovation series for the Bavarian Corner. Uh, by the way, that's the new channel name if uh, you haven't already noticed. And I am going to start working on my car. So the first step is actually taking apart the door panels. Let me get started and uh, situate yourself right by the doors and show you how to take apart the doors or the door panels on the 325i. As you can see, this door panel is already taken apart, so I'm just going to remove the foam right here. I'm going to take off this door panel. The one in the back seat and the one in the front. So let me park you just on my tripod and get my tools quickly. So what you need to keep handy is a set of trim tools. This will actually save you plenty of time in taking apart any door panel and what I'm about to show you applies in general to pretty much any door panel on any car. You just have to look up the specifics about your car. So here's the door panel and in an E36 you have to pretty much look at the door and you'll notice that you have the, the release lever for the door. There's going to be two screws located just behind the door handle and once this clip and these two screws are removed you are you pretty much have to take the trim tools and pry open the door panel away from the door itself. The reason I'm replacing the door panel is because it's really dirty it, and these pieces are it's already sort of broken as you can see right here. You can see that the uh, this middle piece is uh, torn off and the door itself is not really solid. And these little clip rings are broken so I just want to pretty much give myself a fresh clean look on this car. There you go. As you can see, it slides forward, so I'm just going to set that down right here. I'm going to take off the clip, these clips. As you can see, nothing was holding this in place except for the little covers. I just gotta find a Torx screwdriver to remove that over there. Now the rest of the door should go off pretty easily since it's already loose, but we're just going to help it along. And the door itself has about has clips uh, securing the panel to the door, pretty much uh, all around the perimeter. So we just take a little bit of care, and as you can hear, the first pop right here. Once you hear that, you know it's the panel is being released from the door. Once you get most of it off, just work around, twist the door, the lock knob off. Lift. I'll put that back in place. So, if you take a closer look, you'll see that pretty much 
the speakers are hooked in. So remove the speakers, the speaker connectors. And the door panel is off. So you'll notice these are the clips that are that uh, connect the door panel to the car. And these clips you'll see are here. These holes are here all around. And then you have these little um, horizontal openings that clip into these right there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, re remove the door panels on the rest of the car. As you can see in this case, the door panels are so old that these actual clips, some of these actually broke off and are left in the door. So we're probably gonna have to go around and make sure we get all of them out. So, the next part, I'm gonna take all these foam pieces off and set them aside. I may be actually I may be able to use them, but I just want to take them out for the time being so they're out of the way and they don't get damaged during any part of the restoration. So I, I just want to take, give you a closer look at the actual door panel and the mechanisms that are actually inside. So take a peek. So as you can see, set you right down there. This part right here, that's the window regulator. That's what actually helps lower and um, raise the window. Uh, I left the keys in the cottage, so I won't be able to show it to you uh, today. But this is a window regulator. This is the door handle release lever. These are the two connectors for the speakers. And the actual window motor is right here. And it's attached to the um, front of the uh, door. Sorry, the front of the, the regulator right here. And as you can see, all the wiring runs here, through the door panel, and through this little wiring loom and into the rest of the car. So the next phase, the next part that I'm gonna show you is the removal of the, um, the actual seat. So, to replace, to remove the seats, you have these two uh, little capped bolts 
right in here. And then you have to move the seat up. Yes, these are power, powered seats. And as you can tell, they're very, very ugly, so that's why I'm replacing them. Then you have to go to the back of the of the seat. And here, let me get a little bit of light in there. And as you can see, there are two bolts in the back. So once those are removed, you should be able to take the entire seat out of the car. From initial inspection, these look like 15 millimeter bolts, but I may be mistaken. I will get back to you on that right away. So the bolts that fit in here, it's an actual 5 eighths bolts. I'm surprised uh, that these have never been out of this car. I had to actually uh, go to a larger wrench using a 5 8 to try to get them to loosen up. So, and this is not exactly the best leverage. thing I noticed is that the seat belt is connected to to the uh, actual rail of the um, front seat on the sedan so I'm gonna have to remove this belt before I can actually remove this seat Here's the trick to actually removing the seat belt from the from the seat itself. So the trick is you have to move this all the way forward and tilt it all the way up. And then what you have to do is you actually have you have to lift the seat up. Almost like you're going to take it out of the car. And as you can see, there's a big bolt right here. Now, since we have the seat almost out, we can actually disconnect the wiring looms. So, as you can see here, you can actually see the, the wire coming out from the bottom of the seat. And the one connector right here and then there's an airbag seat sensor just underneath right there. So I'm gonna disconnect those two things. I'll set you guys back up right here again. One connector.
car is officially, the seat is officially disconnected from the car. Now we just have to get a fairly big um, security bolt. So let me just go grab that. This requires a T50 security bolt right here. And I can proceed to removing the seat belt. Seat. As you can see in the car, it is filthy. So the end goal is to actually remove this entire interior including the back seat, the seat backs, the front driver's seat. I'm going to remove all this entire console, the glove box, but I'm going to do that in the next video. Just to recap, we remove the door panels and we remove the front passenger seat. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch up with you next time. Thank you very much.